Romelu Lukaku could potentially break Cristiano's record. I'm telling you now, he potentially could break Cristiano's record. He's on fire for Belgium. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Kafkas You. Welcome, Bratuhi. I can't lie to you. I hate international break. The content is hard to find. All right, look, I know I have to make a video for you guys because you start messaging. You start literally inboxing me like, where are you? Where are you? All right, cool. We've got three major stories for you today. One quick roundup of the whole international break. Which Chelsea players played well? Which one of them performed? We only talk about the positives here. Number two, Lukaku fires shots at Manchester United. He fires shots at them and then he explains why he joined Chelsea. Very interesting story. Chalaba comes out and Chalaba openly discusses his conversations with Thomas Tuchel where he sees himself in the long term and why he's staying at the club. And finally, some insight from training. Saul apparently is a balling and Umbamba, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the Dutch centre half that we signed from Barcelona, he is sick. I need him to make an appearance so I can hear the commentator say his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Otherwise guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, support the cause. Literally times like this it is difficult to be making content, but more importantly, in the description below, I have got my Twitter name, because a lot of you don't follow me on Twitter, you know, I find that mad. I've got 11,000 subscribers and only 2,000 Twitter followers. Math's not mathing. And I've opened TikTok for general football humor and more importantly, some Chelsea debates and all round football debates. So go over there, support the brother, help the brother out. Let's move on with the video. Quick Chelsea roundup regarding the internationals. Romelu Lukaku takes two more goals for his name. Two more goals and all of a sudden, right, he's got 66 goals in 99 games for Belgium. That's ridiculous. Look, he's only 27, 28 years old. Lukaku is in phenomenal condition. He knows how to look after himself. He's very intelligent when it comes to that. And he just knows how to find the back of the net, especially for Belgium. Ronaldo's 1-11 record is not that far away. I'm I'm telling you, I know people are like, it's 55 goals away, what are you talking about? I uh, listen, 55 goals in international football is not that much. And the reason it's not that much is because you play qualifiers against Estonia, you play qualifiers against San Marino, Andorra, you bang goals for fun. If you look at and break down Ronaldo's goal, how many of them are in tournaments like top class tournament like goals? And with Rome as well, he's a flat track bully. So, I think it's going to be very interesting. Jorginho gets man of the match as Italy get held to a 1-1 draw. Mason Mount gets a great assist to lead England to a 4-0 win. It was the opening one as well. Shout out to Money Mace. And finally, that that's just a full roundup, really. There's not much. Oh, and Eden Hazard, because I know all of you love it. Eden got an assist for Belgium. Eden got an assist. But let's move on to the story. I told you lot from the outset, right? Numerous bids came in. I told you lot from the outset. Chelsea were actively pursuing Rukaku. Chelsea put in three bids that got rejected and I was telling you lot about it. No one wanted to listen. Not one of you wanted to listen when I was saying, uh, stop making up news, stop making up. I wasn't making it up. People were reporting it. I was telling you guys here and I was deciphering the credibility of the source. And evidently Romelu Lukaku says it. There was a first bid, then there was a bid that came in for cash plus Alonso that was rejected, and then the bid came in for money plus Zappa Costa and it was rejected. And Ron was like, rah, they're serious. And he openly says that. He was like, I realized Chelsea was serious and Simon. He went and spoke to Nzagi. He said, thank you very much for getting me out of that shit. Yes, he called Manchester United shit. <laughs> like, he openly said that rubbish situation he was in and he, it's Chelsea. He wants to move because it's Chelsea. And I'm not gonna lie to you, right? This makes me love the fact we signed him. I'm not a passion merchant. A lot of you know that. I'm really not a passion merchant. But I do love and I adore when people say stuff like this, right? Because it shows that he cares about the team. And for me, that is very important. When a person cares about something, they're more likely to perform better. They're more likely to push themselves. They're more likely to exceed expectation. And for me, Romelu Lukaku is one of those, man. Like, for me, I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen. I really am. But let's move on to the next story. The rise of Nathaniel or Chalaba. Nathaniel again. Trevor Chalaba. Bro, I need to stop calling him Nathaniel Chalaba. Trevor Chalaba is unreal, right? For me, 
he played for Lorient and a lot of people thought he was going to be sold. Like a lot of people like, ah, I played for Lorient, yeah, he played well for Lorient, but what does it mean? I'm one of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm done with investing my stock into youth players that Chelsea are just going to sell on and break my heart with. But in this case, it worked out so well. Like you're looking back at what we saw and listen, what we saw is rare. What we saw is something that we're not going to see on a regular basis. He came into preseason, took his opportunity, played numerous games, played the Super Cup final, played the opening game of the season, got a goal and smashed it. Like if you actually deep what he did, he he defied the odds, he defined expectations and more importantly, he defied belief. Like a lot of people, he openly discusses, right? He spoke to Tuchel and Tuchel told him, look, I want you to stay. I want you to stay. He saw enough between in preseason and he persuaded him that it's right to stay. I don't agree with him staying. I think he would have been better off going to play. I really do. I'm a firm believer and firm component of that side that development occurs when you play games. A lot of people will disagree with me. A lot of people will be like, hey, you're talking rubbish out your ass. I don't think I'm talking out my ass. I genuinely think when you play, you get better. But he did make something evidently clear. He's a centre back. He is a centre back. He is not a centre defensive midfielder. He openly says it and he reiterates it over and over again. I am a centre back and I want to play there. I can do a job in centre midfield. And you got to love it because at his young age, he needs to know what he wants to be. You don't want to end up like Phil Jones. You really do not want to end up like Phil Jones. But otherwise, yeah, man, it's exciting stuff. I want to see how we develop. Finally, the final story is the training session has occurred and there's a lot of good players that are still there. Ben Chilwell, Callum hudson Adoy, Saul, Alonso, a bunch of players, of Hakim Ziyech. But the one that caught the eye is a youngster that got called up to train with the first team. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher his name. Umbe Umbuyamba, I think. Umbuyamba, I think his name is. I'm so sorry I butchered his name. But this guy is coming with a big, big, big reputation. Like, Barcelona were disappointed to let him go. And he joined us, recovered from his injury, and rumors have it that he's very grateful to be there. He openly discusses how excited he is to be training with the first team. And honestly, people have been throwing around jokes, this guy does more modeling than he does playing. Well, yeah, obviously, he's had a major injury. Like, he's literally loving the fact that he's a Chelsea player. Of course, he's going to be taking pictures in his Chelsea kit. He doesn't have an opportunity to play. He needs to distract him from some of it. Sometimes I think people just do it to hate. Like, I really do. But he's in first team training and possibly, you know, he's going to be offering a lot of protection, especially in like his defensive attributes like as a sixth choice defender just in case something bad happens he could be given an opportunity very exciting to see him in the cups i think he's got a lot of potential i've heard great things haven't seen a lot of him like literally a few, few clips here and there a few youtube videos here and there but nothing to put my neck out on the line and say oh my god he's the best talent to slice bread oh mate but it is what it is, like, it's going to be exciting to see. In the long run, he'll develop, and yeah, it's going to be an exciting season. Saul, apparently Saul's balling out and linking up with Alonso really well and impressing Tuchel. Part of me is really worried about that, because it means Alonso is going to be sticking around much longer. But guys, this is the Gaff Guys and this is the uh, the the Improv 2 video. Like, I hope you lot enjoyed it, I'm sorry. Like, there's not much to report. There really isn't. I just Things will be back to normal once the video starts more fluidly, once there's previews for games, match reviews, and more importantly, guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, go follow me on Twitter and TikTok, because I'm guessing I'm going to be doing a lot of content on there, and so you guys don't miss it. Peace out. I'm out. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.